This curry right here, it can serve with rice, bread, or even vermicelli noodles. Cut onion into wedges. Some potato from my sister's garden. You can cut in half or you can put whole one if it's small. Salad, dice them in small pieces. Chicken part, chicken wing, drums or thighs. Cut them into smaller pieces. Dice salad. Minced garlic. Galanga. Stir until lightly brown. Red Thai curry, one tablespoon. This one really spicy. And lower to low heat when put red Thai curry. Some coconut milk. Put mostly and save a little bit for last. Red Thai curry is really spicy. If you don't like it that spicy, only put three quarter tablespoon. Bring it to boil about one minute. After one minute, put 500 gram of chicken parts. Stir a bit before put ingredients. While putting the ingredients, lower to medium heat to prevent the splash. Salt, one teaspoon. Chicken powder, half tablespoon. Two tablespoons of yellow sugar. The sauce, one tablespoon. Now stir and mix well. Let it boil on heat nine for five minutes. After five minutes, add half a liter of water. Potato of any kind, about 400 to 500 gram. Go for a lime leaf. When you see it boiling, low to medium heat for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, put the sliced onion. And also pour the last bit of coconut milk. Bring it to boil for the last five minutes. After about five minutes, you can turn off the heat. Right now, there's not much color because it's still boiling. But when the boiling actually calmed down, you will see a really nice red color of this red curry. We only want potato. 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 Alex, he wants some. Cucumber? No, no. You want potato in there or no? No. Some more noodle?